Hello everyone. Welcome to Bits of Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use MySQL from your Windows command prompt. So if you guys love using Windows command prompt, then I'm sure you're going to love this video. So to start, first open your Windows command prompt. And since we are going to use this particular command, MySQL, we'll need to uh, set the environment path variable for our MySQL executive. So if you see if I now pass the command MySQL, I'm going to get an unrecognized uh, command error. So to solve this, first of all, we are going to go to our path where we have installed our MySQL. And since you all must be knowing that uh, MySQL is installed uh, within my XAMPP directory or WAMP directory as the case may be. So now I'm going to go to the MySQL path and in the bin folder here I can find MySQL executable file over here. So I'm just going to copy the path of this folder. Then I'm going to search for environment variables which comes under system properties. So here you will find environment variable and under user variables, I'm going to select path, click on edit, then add a new path here and just paste down the part to my mysql.exe file. Then click OK. So now if I open command prompt, I must be able to use this command, but uh, we need to do one more thing in order to use this particular command. We need to add MySQL to our services so that Windows, Windows can recognize it as a service and can accept the commands. So in order to add MySQL to our services, we'll just navigate to the folder where we have installed our MySQL. So let me just navigate to my folder. So now just type MySQL D space hyphen install. Now, since we will require the administrator permission, we'll open CMD as admin. Again, we'll go to our XAMPP directory slash MySQL slash bin. Then we'll type MySQL D hyphen install. So as you can see, the service is successfully installed. And if you don't want to use command prompt for this, you can simply open XAMPP control panel and run as administrator. Then here, when the service is started, as you can see here, there's a green tick, which means that uh, MySQL is already as a running as a service. And if you want to enable uh, suppose if you want to enable Apache as a service, you can click here when it is stopped, of course. So you can click yes to install it as a service. Since we have already done using Windows command prompt, now we must be able to use our MySQL command. So as you can see, we have got the welcome message and we are currently in MySQL command shell.